hello and welcome to Minecraft Dad with me, Paul McJay. Now, today we are going to be, uh, be doing a quick tutorial on how to make a sphere in uh, Minecraft. Now, this is quite difficult to do usually in Minecraft because constructing things generally out of blocks to make any circle shape. So I'm going to show you how briefly how to do this using uh, an execute command. Uh, for this build, we are going to need coordinates on and sheets of the command blocks. Now, in order to, in order to make this work, we're going to need to stand on this block here. Make sure to write those coordinates down. Now, when we stand in these blocks, what you'll notice when we look around, it will draw <laughs> uh, wherever you are looking. Uh, in this case, I am doing this with uh, sea lanterns. You can use any type of block that you want to do this. See, every way I'm looking, it is drawing. Quite cool, mind, isn't it? So if I step off it, it will stop drawing. And when I stand back on that square again, it will start drawing again. So let's stand back on it. And it's drawing again. First things first, let's give ourselves a uh, command block. If you don't know how to do this, this is, this is how you do it. So into your command pop screen, forward slash give, then your uh, name and then command. Now this is the, the few different uh, options. In this particular tutorial, we're, we're gonna be needing chain commands and repeating commands. So you will need to writing uh, chain underscore command underscore block for chain commands and repeating underscore command underscore block for repeat commands. Now this is the first command that we need to do. So it's uh, a repeat block uh, needs to be set to always active. And now this is the command that we need to write in. So for slash test for at p square bracket. Now these are the coordinates in there. So x uh, coordinate is 246, the y coordinate is 4, and etc. etc. And we also need a radius of 1 at the end. The second uh, command block is a chain command block. Make sure it's facing the same direction. Uh, that needs to be set to conditional and always active. Now, this is going to test for myself. So, test Paul J82. That's going to into a comparator. And into the third command block, which is set also to repeat but needs redstone. And this is the most important command to make this work. So this is the new syntax for the execute command. I'll explain it a little bit later on in a bit more detail. So forward slash execute at entity run forward slash fill. Uh, those little, I can't remember what those are called. Uh, and then 10, three of those again, 10, and then the type of block. Um, I'm gonna rechange this now to concrete and the type of concrete, well, it's black concrete. So that's concrete 15. So now when I uh, stand on that block now, it'll start drawing <laughs> again in uh, black concrete. Now you can also change that to anything else you want. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna put in air to get rid of uh, a few of those blocks. Stand on it again. Oh, let's get rid of them all now. Now you can also uh, change the the distance. So, for example, uh, we can change that ten. Um, we'll change it to twenty. Let's get rid of that. Put twenty in. And then we need to change the other one as well. Uh, let's get rid of that air and put concrete 15 back in. Now, if you notice this time, when we step on it, it'll be further away. Now this is going to be uh, essentially the the main element on how to create a sphere. So join me 
in part two, well, I make the sphere. Right, well, my sphere is going to have a circumference of 24. So, I want a good distance between the ground and the bottom of the sphere, so I'm going to have at least 24 from the ground up. So let's jump up. The build is quite high. So, uh, about 20 up there. Uh, yeah. And to get to the middle now, we're going to have to go up about 24 blocks there. So we're going to go up about 40 ish in total. Well, a bit more than that, about 50 odd. Right, now I've built a, a bit more of a simpler system. A uh, pressure plate going into a, a repeater into one command block. See, it's a simpler when you stand on it, you know that the circuit's active. So, this is the old command. Now, if you know recently, Minecraft have changed the syntax for execute commands. So, this is the, the, old, the old syntax that we used to use for this using a set block command. So, just rebuild that there. But using the new syntax, same as before, but in this we know we're going to change uh, instead of 10 or 20 to 24, we're still going to use concrete 15 for this. So when we stand on this pressure plate now, it'll start drawing. Now, just quickly and simply, I am just going to start building the frame of a giant sphere. Now, your world is your oyster when it comes to things you can do with this. Um, I've used this as a, an event riser for black hole in my TARDIS build. You can make a, I don't know, you could even make a Death Star. <laughs> uh, if you saw uh, one to two. So I'm just going to quickly speed through all, all, all this frame. Once you've built the frame you can start filling it in. It'll take a while so I'm just going to speed through all this now. Now, as you can start to see, we are already starting to get, uh, you know, the outline of a of a giant sphere. So I'll just go back and carry on and speed through the spill. Right, so it's starting to look a bit more filled in. Definitely looking a lot better now. So I'll carry on doing it. Alright, this is the uh, inside of the sphere, pretty much done. Uh, a few minor adjustments just to do what I did. Uh, I have to get out now. <laughs> Make some more. Yeah, so if you look on the outside, uh, apart from little gaps it's uh, pretty solid um, little sphere. Excellent. Right, I'm just gonna quickly make uh, an inside uh, an inside sphere as well. Be quite cool. Um, so I'm gonna make this instead uh, of concrete 15. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put uh, sea lanterns in there instead. Score Lantern and I'm going to change those uh, 24s to 10s. So I'll create a nice small inside sphere.
Right, so I'm just going to build this quickly now on speed throw. Right, uh, that's the inside of my inner sphere. Uh, pretty much done. Left a few little gaps so I can get through here. Let's try to finish these off. Oh, this is going to be quite hard. Well, oh, got it. Right, in this sphere is done. Let's get out. There we are, that looks uh, quite tidy actually. So, in this sphere, inside the big sphere. Right, so there we are, that's it for today's tutorial, ciao for now.